And welcome back to Let's Play Kirby 64. I'm Bumpix, and let's finish off Neo Star. I need Rock Needle to get a uh, Crystal Shard, so I got that off screen. This is actually one of my favorite abilities because it lets you ride along on the drill like that and you can shoot it off. The drill goes through obstacles and it goes a fair distance, so it's a really nice ability. Just like shoot it off. Not gonna get the drop on me, guys. Right there, I broke off screen the block I needed to break this. And there's that. Kinda like how this is just like this random rock structure in the clouds. To wonder how these things get here. Who stacks up those neat little piles? No. You guys don't get to do that. I deem that is against the law. There's not much to say here except for the bizarrely colored rocks. You just jump. It. There's a sandwich in the sky for some reason. Maybe we're interrupting someone's picnic. Because Kirby wants food, and when he wants food, he gets food. Bird things move down trying to hit you, and when they hit an obstacle, they return back the way they're going. Like that, they just tried to fly into you. Not that big of a deal, but I want to keep an eye on them. Pay attention to what Adeline painted here. You need to, to keep that in mind and copy it with this block structure. She can either paint a hat, a pizza, or an umbrella. If you're having trouble which one is what, like what to make, you can just look at it on the Kirby Wiki. And they have images showing which one is what. The hat is the easiest one. Let's do that. Get in the thing. If you need to take a look at the picture again, you can just go back. And the blocks respawn. The slight music jump there was because I forgot where the final crystal shard was and I had to go back. If you go back to a level when you've already collected a crystal shard, it's replaced by a star. That gives you quite a bit of star things. So I guess that'd be a good way to level grind if you need to do. But since the game doesn't save lives after you turn it off, it might not be worth it. What's the point of collapsing platforms when I can fly? Drop down here for the final crystal shard. Kinda sorta of forgot that one. Come on. Oh well. Just jump over you guys. You're not even worth stabbing with my giant rock drill thing. What bizarre conditions caused this rock formation to happen? Obviously someone didn't carve it. Cause why would they carve Kirby's name on a planet Kirby's not from?
This level, the last level of Neo Star, is quite long. I'm not sure if you need double ice, it might just be single ice, but you probably can guess you can't find ice in this level. Watch out for the rocks. Like, if it's a small rock, I think you can jump up into it to nullify the damage, but if it's a bigger one, it's gonna hurt you. Touching the lava hurts, obviously. Like that, you can just block the lava with Kirby's head. To the top of Kirby. Double Ice turns you into a snowball. It gathers up enemy as, enemies as you go along, and then it bursts them out. And it's gonna fly over you, is that okay? Careful not to get pinched between these rock things, because that's an instant kill. He has a surprising amount of things that can kill you one hit like that. Stop being a thing. You stop being a thing. And just take your time with jumping you can and watch out for the fire pooing birds. It's always gotta be birds, doesn't it? You can't escape the birds! Much like Rock, getting out of the Rock ability, the burst does damage enemies, I believe I said that already. But you don't need to have enemies inside of you to damage things with the burst. Make sure to jump well in this, because DDD can't float. Which is weird, because he can float in games before this. You can step in those glowing spots and it does hurt you, so just jump over them. How are those black things? They sit balls. Take this level slow and it shouldn't be too bad. Break. Can't break that now. There we go. There we have the first purple shard. So just break everything you can and you should be easily getting it. Here's advice. Break stuff to get stuff. Yeah, DDD can duck. It's not that useful, but it's kind of funny looking. He just kind of throws you. I like that. Plus, if you run into blocks like that, you instantly burst out of the snowball. That lava thing beneath there looks dangerous, but it doesn't actually do anything. It's just there for atmosphere. Become my snowball. Become part of the snowball collective. Do not resist. It cannot be stopped. Except by blocks. I think this would melt instantly. Oh well, it's Kirby. Who needs to make sense when you're a pink ball? That's a lot of Bronto words. You can tell when one of those Pabado guys are going to pop out because there's like, little bubbles coming out of this lava fire. Tomatoes, tomato soup stuff. I would float over these lava spurs because I'm not sure if you can walk under that one. Just float over them. You, stop being asleep. Just 
kind of ignore you because you're not hurting anybody. And this right here you break with your snow. I'm not sure if you can do it with just single ice, so might as well just bring in double ice. That's an interesting camera angle. Kirby's all tiny. Oh, what's this? It's a giant wall of cheese. I don't know if it kills you in one hit. I've never been caught by it, so that should say how easy this is. Just keep moving. Really, you can just go at a slow, leisurely pace, and it won't matter. This isn't Kirby's Dream Land 2's auto-scrolling, so don't worry about anything. You guys might be annoying if I couldn't float. Even fire cannot stand up to the wall of cheese. And now it's going to be rising up from below. This is even easier than the previous room. But to the left side is the final crystal shard. <clears throat> it's a fairly long level, but not that hard to take it slow. Now break these. And those guys are no problem. Thought this was erupting. Where's the lava? And for the boss, we have Magman. I think that's his name. And demonstration, how broken is Bomb Cutter? Does that. And that kind of hurt a bit, but whatever. Doesn't matter. Just watch where his lava plumes are going from the background, and really, this is nothing. You can hurt them when they erupt out of the lava, so a lot of opportunities to hurt this guy. I think a giant mass of living magma would be harder than this, but no. You do have to hit him in his face to damage him, though. With the brokenness of Bomb Cutter, this is nothing. Come on, stick your face out and die. We just killed magma. There is that eruption, but that's it for this part of Let's Play Kirby 64. I'm Puppix. I'll see you next time when I start Shiver Star. Bye.